G'day guys, Scotty Lyons here from the Hook on the Cook and welcome back to our channel. This week's clip brought to you by Hunts Marine. Now Paul's flying in this afternoon and uh, we're going to have a, a wonderful session out on the beautiful Port Hacking River just south of Sydney. It's uh, low tide, I'm going to duck across and get some uh, bait before he arrives, so we're ready to go. Well guys, I've just arrived, flown in from the uh, sunny coast, and uh, Scotty's kindly pumped me some nippers, which is really good of him. Now I'm just going to show you how to pop one of these guys on. So the first thing that we do, we're using a number one hook, very light sinker. What we're going to be doing with these nippers, we're going to be flicking them around the pontoons and around the uh, moored boats, and hopefully come up with a brim, whiting, or um, any other type of uh, fish in this estuary system at the port hacking. Um, anything can come and grab these guys, because they're a natural bait from around the area. So we just pop that in, through the head, and then make sure that hook's revealed. Well folks, we are out on the hacking today and it was a tough assignment. Basically the southerly came up, we threw a few nippers uh, around the boats and then the wind came up so we will find it very tough to get onto brim or whiting or whatever was around. So we seen a school of tailor come up and we were very lucky to get a couple of nice tailor on the trawl. So, what I've decided to do is show you how to smoke some tailor. Uh, with, tailor basically is a oily fish and it lends itself to being smoked. So I'm going to show you how to do that with a nice simple salad. Okay folks, so it's time to uh, prepare uh, the whole tailor and the couple of fillets I've just knocked off um, with some different seasonings. So one of my favourites that I've just been using quite a bit in the kitchen recently is this seasoning here. It's a um, Basically it's a native bush or Australian bush. It's got some lemon myrtle in there and also some bush tomato. First thing I need to do is just put a little bit of oil in here just to lubricate these guys. So I'm just going to take this off. So the first thing I'll do is the, uh, the whole tailor. A little bit of oil, not too much. It's mainly just so that this rub actually sticks to it. Okay, pop that one back and now I'm just going to rub this guy, these guys as well. A little bit more oil on the board. Now these smoke fillets will last for probably three to four days in the fridge and if you cry vac them obviously they're going to last longer but like I say this is a fresh smoking method that I'm showing you today it's not pres for preserving. Okay these guys now are ready to just pop on our grill. Okay so just pop that on top of there and again with one of our fillets and again with the other fillet. Fantastic. Put the lid back on. Now they should take approximately 
15 to 20 minutes to cook. Okay, um, fish is looking really good. I'm just going to throw a squeeze of cheek of lemon. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, looking good. Make sure she's cooked enough. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. That might need just a little bit longer. Okay, I'm making a very, very simple dressing to go with our mixed leaf salad today. So basically what I'm going to do is two thirds olive oil, a third red wine vinegar. A little bit of our bush tomato seasoning will go in. And then all we need to do is just move this around in the bowl. We don't even have to put a spoon in there. We've got some just nice little mixed leaves in here. In with our dressing. Just use some tongs and be very light with the uh, with the salad. We don't want to, as you can see, it's all nice and light at the moment. Okay, that's ready to go on the plate. I'm just going to put this salad on nice and lightly, and then I'm just going to put a little bit of frozen feta cheese over the top. I know it sounds a bit strange, but what it'll do is give our salad a lovely colour. Fine grater. I've stolen this off Scott's wife. Just over the top. Now it really just gives that oiled leaves, which is such a simple thing, just gives it a little bit of a lift. Give the plate a little bit of a wipe. And that's ready for our fish. So there we go folks, so easy to smoke fish. Give it a go, try different methods, have different types of toppings on, and have a go and have fun. Well a special thanks guys to all our partners who joined us, and I hope you guys enjoyed these clips. And don't forget to join us every week here at The Hook and the Cook, and don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. And we'll see you every Friday here at The Hook and the Cook. Cheers, guys.